What is up everyone? It is vlog time. I've been dying to start vlogging um, really soon and now I'm here vlogging or whatever. So <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an unusual time to start a vlog actually. I normally start them on a Monday or start them on a Friday and they normally started in the morning or in the evening or something. But today we are starting actually on Tuesday the 23rd of June at 10 to 6. So a little bit of an odd time and that's because um, it's a little bit of an odd week actually actually. Um, not too odd, but just a little bit different. So, at this current moment in time, I am exporting Tuesday's video. I should be exporting Wednesday's video ready to upload tonight, but no, Tuesday's video, so today's video. So yes, I am indeed late in making uh, the video today, which is a big shame. Um, whether I'll be late uploading or not, it's hard to tell. I will have to squish it to 720p, but it's okay. It's more of an audio related video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but, you know, it's just, I had work yesterday, blah, 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 blah. It's hard to cram everything in, but I do an okay job, and this will probably go live at about half 10, 11. So a little bit later than usual, but it'll still probably be out today. Um, so that means that tonight as well, as soon as this is done exporting, I've got to make um, tomorrow's video if I want to be ahead of the game tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. Don't quite know what I'm going to do yet because it's a little bit of an awkward week. I do have a few plans, but I can't really put those plans into action um, yet anyway. So yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be vlogging for, guys. It could end up being just the next four or five days or it could end up being two weeks. I have no idea. You know what it's like. Um, let me carry some of the dishes downstairs. Now, at this current moment in time, I don't think that's a very good idea, but whatever. At, uh, <laughs> at this current moment in time, my parents are away, which is, you know, really cool. They, they've gone to visit my brother in North Wales, because that's where he's living at the moment. Um, so that's given me some freedom to have the house to myself and stuff, and I'm really going to capitalise on that. And tomorrow, I'm going to get some of my gear downstairs, some of the gear that I want to sell. I'm going to put it in the living room here, and that'll give me some proper space to work with gear. Um, you know, which will allow me to test it and stuff, and I'll maybe make a video or something. I think that'll be cool. Um, today's video is related to sound, PA system stuff. So maybe a lighting video in the same week might be a little bit too over the top. For my regular viewers, I'm not too sure, but we'll see how I feel. And I'm going to put this cranberry juice in the fridge. So yeah, my parents are away. Um, of course, I'm going to miss them and stuff, but they'll be having a lovely time. I believe they're away for something like... Uh, why do I put empty cartons back in the fridge? They're away for the next four days. They're back on Friday. So um, it's all good. It is all good. I get a chance to have the house to myself, like I said. And also, not that I really spend loads of time here these days. I normally stay with Jess pretty much most of the time, in fact all of the time. So, but it'll be handy for work, you know. It's not that my parents disturb me or anything, in fact they don't, but it's just cool. I make my own food and stuff like that, and get, you know, used to it, so whatever. I'm talking complete shit now, guys, but um, basically I'm looking forward to doing a couple of things that I couldn't do with my parents here this week, and, well, by a couple of things I basically mean test my lighting in the living room because I can't do it in my bedroom so it's an ideal um, ideal solution to do it down there because I do have two moving lights under my bed that I think I'm gonna sell but I haven't powered them up since August 3rd 2014 so I need to check if they are still operational so I'm not in the greatest of moods at the moment I'm you know I'm feeling happy and stuff it's all good the weather's nice blah blah but my video is on 10% exported um, Obviously it's a 30 minute video so it's taking forever and I need to get it up today and the problem is while it'll be uploading my internet will be slogged for the next four or five hours um, and to top it all off my vlogging camera has low battery so I'll probably not be able to record as much as I originally intended to today but to pick my mood up a little bit I'm going to have a classic dish and that is a pot noodle. As the kettle is boiling guys I thought I'd show you a wonderful parcel that uh, arrived from Keith today. I'm not going to show you the other side of the envelope because my address obviously um, but Jess and I arrived here this morning to have some nice breakfast and stuff. Uh, she's obviously gone now because I had to work today but Keith sent us a card of course, a congratulations card which is extremely nice of him. He also sent me a wonderful note and he was kind enough to send me 
Oh man, this is so cool. And Jess was was absolutely thrilled at some of the level of generosity from my subscribers. We have a lovely baby blanket here, Teddy Edition. I will say Uber Soft Teddy Edition. And in here we have two little hats, which are just totally, totally unbelievably cute. I find this baby stuff beyond cute guys because like i've never had the experience of really shopping for this stuff before and this stuff is just so damn cute and of course to top it all off he was kind enough to send me i may have to blur that out i may have shown my address kind enough to send me these uh three baby long long sleeve body suits so these are the the full shebang and uh yeah they're zero to three months so absolutely awesome keith your generosity is absolutely awesome, buddy. And I'd just like to let you know that Jess was thrilled with this gift. And as am I, I am absolutely thrilled. I don't really know what I can uh, say to you to thank you. Because um, basically, guys, Keith had my address, of course, because of the previous donations that he has made. So that was so kind of him to just take the initiative and just go for it and send those over, which is great. Um... So yeah, I will be emailing him after I have my pot noodle to say thank you because it does seriously mean a lot. I do like my pot noodles watery, guys. It does really, really mean a lot to us. And believe it or not, um, I believe other than th I think maybe one card that Jess got, that's our first congratulations card um, and definitely our first congratulations gift. So. I, I, it just felt really special and I just had a, a lovely moment. We had a lovely moment opening that this morning. It was just absolutely wonderful. So all of our baby stuff is stored at Jess's house at the moment. You know, we haven't gone wild buying things. Um, we've just got, you know, things sorted to a certain extent. There's a lot more we need to buy. But all of that is getting stored down there. So I will take that down there later and it can be put with that stuff totally safely. Um, of course, guys, we're on an extreme budget doing this. So these kind of gifts really help, you know. It's nice to get gifts that we can use. And um, yeah, for the last time, because I'm sure everyone else is getting sick of me saying this, but Keith, thanks so much, buddy. It just warmed us right through this morning and it was, it was so kind of you. What more could I ask for, guys? A brewing pot noodle, a couple of slices of good old bread, a, uh, a pint glass full of orange squash and a wonderful triple monitor Mac setup ready to sit in front of and watch something on YouTube while I eat this and wait for my video to export. Ideal. So of course, one big factor about this vlog is this is the first vlog you guys are seeing um, where I'm totally open. No more secrets, no more anything like that. I think it's kind of wrong to say secret because I wasn't intentionally keeping... Excuse me guys. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> I just need to recover there. Um, I wasn't intentionally keeping any secrets or anything like that. It was just the way I had to do things. I had no choice. Um, but obviously I was uh, restrained and held back in the vlogs with the things I could talk about and the things I could show you. So now I can show you whatever the hell I like because you guys know everything that's happening in my life. And do you know what? It is so much easier to vlog. I feel so much easier, free, open, you know. We just did a clip talking about baby clothes and, you know, wow, that is a step forward for the channel, I think. <laughs> but yeah, ranting aside, I'm going to eat some noodle and charge up my camera a little bit. Oh man, video is going to be late. What can I do? I'm estimating probably around 1am, 1am uh, if I'm lucky. So yeah, not too disastrous compared to some of my other late videos, but this is a bit gutting. And also, because it's a sound related video, um, and it's not my mass audience that will enjoy it. Um, it's always, I always, if I'm releasing like a really good video late, then I don't really mind because I know that everyone will really enjoy it when it arrives. But you always get that thing of if you're uploading a video that only a select few of your audience, audience will enjoy, uh, like PA stuff like this, then you know that um, it's a bit gutting because those like, your audience has been waiting, but then they get something that they're not quite expected and it's late, so I don't know, it makes no difference and it's just me panicking over nothing again. Um, and, it, you know, I try my best, you know, I'm a one-man show. And, you know, being a one-man show, I'll make one point, actually, about how I was so um, flattered by some of the comments that I had in the Hackintosh series. I was getting comments saying, like, oh, man, better editing than Linus Tech Tips and all that, you know. 
Um, I'm sure you guys have seen the comments. Now, of course, my editing is not better than what you see on Linus Tech Tips, but what that series did have going for it was a special vibe, you know? And I, I really appreciate that my tiny existence, you know, in you know a country that those guys over at Linus Tech Tips probably even re haven't really heard of, you know, South Wales, um, I can just sit here one man show with really cheap stuff and make that kind of video whereas they are out there and there's a team of six or seven of them and you know they've got uh, you know tens of thousands of pounds hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of camera and computer equipment etc um, but you know not dissing them at all and saying I'm better or anything because I'm really not obviously those high production value videos like the Hackintosh series are a rare occurrence and uh, Linus Tech Tips stuff is just extraordinarily awesome so yeah I'm just putting that one out there. So it's about 20 to 9, it's a lot later than when I recorded the previous clip. Um, I've been letting the camera charge up a little bit and also chilling here, so obviously the pot noodle has worn off by now. I can't remember what time, I think it was roughly 6 o'clock I did the last update, but it's time I made myself some proper food now. Um, the evening is coming into its own and turning into the night, the sun is going down. And yeah, not much really to say. I've spent the whole evening on YouTube really, just chilling. Um, luckily, I kind of don't feel so bad when I spend sort of four or five hours watching YouTube because YouTube is always research for me, you know. It doesn't matter what I'm watching really, as long as I'm not watching, you know, weird cat videos or someone falling over. Um, YouTube is always research. And my neighbour is there, and you know what? I'm going to avoid him because... I'm just going to. So, um, so hopefully he doesn't watch this. Yeah, I don't feel too bad about vegetating in front of the computer for hours on end watching YouTube, as long as I'm productive with the stuff that I learn from YouTube. Um, because you guys may learn stuff off my channel, but believe it or not, I learn a lot of my stuff from other people's channels. So it's kind of like goes around in a circle, but it's all about how you use the knowledge, you know? And again, I'm talking utter crap in my vlog. So I just went to make myself some food and my neighbor is like directly outside my kitchen window, just over the driveway, uh, washing his car or something, so. I'm going to give it five, ten minutes to see if he finishes. It's not that I don't want to talk to him or anything like that. You know, it's totally cool, but he's just there going about his day-to-day -day life washing his car. I don't want to interrupt him by awkwardly standing there in the window making dinner. And he always feels like as if he has to talk to me. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave him be. And I... Put to be perfectly honest, guys, don't really want to communicate with anyone right now. You know, I get my zones where I'm just quite happy doing my own thing, where people leave me alone. Um, man, I sound like an old grouch. So the reason why I think tomorrow is going to be quite a busy day for me is because tomorrow is my self-set deadline for the wedding video that I've had going on. So I have a box of DVDs and whatnot here. DVD cases and whatnot. I've got 20 of these. I've spoken about these in, you know, for the past month or so, right? Now, the reason the project has been taking so long, it's not because I was slow. In fact, I was a little bit slow, but I know the people really well, so it doesn't really matter, and they're not desperate for it. So it was kind of, um, they said I could fit it around my existing work, you know, which was fine. There was no rush. So basically what dragged everything out was the fact that I had to, um, First get the footage from them, and there was an issue. Someone decided to turn the camcorder vertically. So, right, you guys know what happens then. You end up with a frame sideways. You have to turn the frame 90 degrees, and then you've got two massive black bars. You know, it's a vertical letterbox, and it looks horrendous. So I was like, look, this is what's happened to the footage. You've got a few different options. So it took about two weeks for me to, or about a week for me to say, look, this is the footage. Um, this is what's happened and I had to give them samples as to what you could do you know I did one where I stretched it a little bit and zoomed in um, to make the black bars less I did one where I faded the sides of the clip out and had a black background faded the side of the clip out and had a white background um, and their final choice was just leave it as it is otherwise you'll draw attention to it um, so that's what we did and then I made the first copy that I believed was going to be the final wedding video. So I gave it to them to preview um, in a case and it had a cover 
and they loved it to bits, but they then decided that they were going to change their original um, specification for the ordering of the video. So the specification originally was just have the wedding service. There was lots of other clips on the SD card, but just have the service and a little bit of the outside shots with the confetti and whatnot and job done. But it turns out that now they want some footage of the dancing and whatnot that they had in the wedding reception, which is fine, you know, I can do that. But then it turned out that all that footage was incredibly distorted. The, uh, the DJ was playing quite loud and it looked as if he had some JBL subs from what I can see from the photo um, and the whole place is shaking. So the audio track hasn't come out that well. So basically to cut a massive story short, the video has been toing and froing a lot. So basically tomorrow is my deadline that I've set myself. Um, the people that I'm doing the video for are going on a holiday tomorrow. I want to give them maybe not all the copies, but one copy tomorrow to see what uh, they think of it. And if they like it, I can do all the copies. So job done. Um, I'll try and do one copy tomorrow. I just need to, I need to completely basically edit a new project. It's taking a little longer as well because the camcorder they used to film was an NTSC camcorder. So I have to re-encode everything to PAL to make it easier to work with uh, appropriate DVD formats. And it's just all taking a little bit of time. Plus I'm not really used to doing DVD covers and stuff. So, you know, my printer isn't an optimal uh, setup and blah 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 but do you know what guys it's little jobs like this that you take on that really really help things ticking over so whatever I have I will admit to dragging it out a little bit but pff, what can you do and there we have it guys lovely example of probably one of the nicest quality ready meals I've ever eaten this is from Lidl this is a roast beef dinner highly recommended a ready meal is a once in a blue moon type of food for me so when mum and dad go away I like to have a couple of these and uh, they bought me this one and an all day breakfast before they went away which was so kind of them and uh, yeah this is probably the last time I'll be staying in my parents house while my parents are away so yeah interesting times might as well celebrate. What up everyone it is the next day it is Wednesday it is 13.24 so the afternoon is uh, is well and truly underway. I've just arrived home I had a nice fried breakfast and stuff this morning um, I'm generally feeling quite good, although I think I've got some allergies going today. Um, I do suffer a little bit from hay fever from time to time, and today I've just got a really itchy nose and I am struggling. My eyes are a bit itchy and puffy as well, so not the greatest, but um, still, I'm not going to let it stop me. Unfortunately, my video, yesterday's video, didn't get live until this morning, so quite a bit of a delay, but it was still uploading at about midnight, and I was just so tired, I just could not wait up to unprivate it and whatnot, so I was like, you know what, stuff it, I'm just going to wait until the next morning, and most people really don't mind, you know, lots of people don't even notice. Um, so today's video is actually going to be on a retro piece of tech. I've had a few questions um, from people to cover retro tech because I haven't covered anything retro in a while. So today I'll be covering a nice retro uh, VHS player. Not recorder, just player, I believe. Oh no, it must record as well because it's designed for camcorders. We will soon see. Anyway, um, this is going to be a great bit of kit to cover because I know I haven't been covering a lot of this stuff recently. So, oh great. This is actually my dad's and he's going to sell it very soon. So um, it'll be great to cover. Now I'm going to go up and down the stairs a couple of times because I've got to carry this up. There's two separate parts to it. All will be revealed in the video. And I'm going to bring my glass down and get, get a drink on the go and make a start. So it's about half one, like I said. So today is looking quite good for timing. I'll have to leave by six today for work. So I've got a few hours. Don't think I'm going to get a rest today, but I was quite lazy yesterday. So that's OK. I'm totally cool with that. Um, let me grab my glass. Today, I'm pretty much going to go for it, starting off by um, making this video, editing it and then getting it uploading and then focusing on making at least one wedding DVD, but probably just one so that it can, they can check that they like it and stuff. So yeah, that's good. Um, annoyingly, I'm getting a few comments on my networking video. I'm gonna use a different glass because I just want water. I've been getting a few comments on my networking video saying, oh, Tom, you should do this, you should do that. Disable this, change this setting, change that setting. And what's really annoying is I forgot to mention in the video, um, that I didn't show everything on camera. There was a lull where I was having problems and that's when I changed a lot of the settings. 
And you can tell that this happened because I actually stated um, in the previous segment of the video before we started fiddling with the router, I actually said, oh, we'll have to jump in here and change a few settings, but I never actually did film that. And I didn't acknowledge that people would pick up on that. So um, yeah, interesting one there, but it's unfortunate because I got a lot of comments. And of course that video is popular. And I got a lot of comments saying, Tom, you need to change this, you need to change that, where I do actually have the setup fully optimised like people want. Um, you know, so, yeah, whatever. But it's all good, it's all good. Sometimes you just get like that on YouTube. I've got to make one more trip downstairs, guys. This is crazy. Cannot wait until I'm a little bit more organised. Um, yeah, but what was I saying? Yeah, you've got to be... You've got to really think of everything when you make a YouTube video, you know. You can't realise all of this stuff straight away. Um, but one thing I'll need to do is figure out, let's have a look. Yeah, this camera's still got low battery. I'm gonna need to figure out why... Sorry guys, I'm gonna have a weird angle because I'm holding something under my arm. I'm gonna figure out why this camera isn't charging the way I think it is. Um, I know this is a weird angle, massive apologies. Because I plug it in... Oh, excuse me guys. I plug it in... And it just doesn't charge all the time, you know? It's really weird, so it is what it is. Um, oh man, getting out of breath now. Still, it's good exercise. Work off on bacon, sausage and egg this morning by walking up and down the stairs a few times. Ugh. So yeah, this should be great for the people that are interested in the retro tech. Oh, holy crap, let's have a little sit down. So, my week is actually looking fairly basic. Um, today is my busiest day. Haven't actually got any plans. I'm not sure if I've got a gig on Friday. The person that I normally contact about these gigs or they normally contact me has been very quiet on the radar. Um, so he must be really, really busy. Or he must be away or something because he goes away. Um, either that or he just doesn't want to contact me, which is fair enough, I suppose. I'm very busy at the moment. And I won't have much time to do PA gigs over the summer anyway, you know. Um, it's kind of, it's going to be a bit unfair having like, you know, a, a three or four week old baby and me turning up at three o'clock in the morning with a van full of gear trying to load it into the house while he's trying to sleep and Jess is trying to get some sleep and it's just not on, it's not fair, so I don't want to put them through that. Yeah, it's not going to happen, everything is going on hold this summer and I've I've decided that, you know, it's... It, they have to come first and yes the money I'll be struggling without my festival money you know over the summer I guess I can tell you guys over the summer I easily bring in a good few grand on the festivals and gigs um, because I get paid properly for these festivals you know so I bring in a good couple of grand offering my services I spend a lot of money as well because every summer I do up my gear like um, for last summer was the first summer that I had a pair of Mac 250 moving heads and I had them fully serviced and that and with delivery both ways to uh, send them to Martin and receive them back that cost me like 400 pounds there so uh, yeah but I digress guys I'm talking non-stop crap again it's time for me to record this YouTube video today's YouTube video once that's out the way um, I'm going to be feeling pretty good about today, I think. So, I'm going to get started. I'll probably update you guys in about an hour's time after that video's finished. <laughs> well, guys, uh, quarter past three, and that was a really fun video to make. Basically, uh, it's that video that you guys have already seen on the Hitachi VHS machine. What a beauty. Um, I've also done a little VHS effect and some different 80s music on my end card. Guaranteed someone will go, oh Tom, there's something wrong with the video at the end. Even though I've purposefully done a bad quality VHS look. I um, wonder who will pick on that, pick up on that. Anyway, um, due to the fact that it's quarter past three, the lighting testing stuff that I was talking to you guys about, I'll have to do it tomorrow. Um, it'll just be much too much of a rush now. I'm going to try and work on the wedding video a little bit, but I've got to wait for Final Cut to finish exporting first, of course. So, ah oh man, I've got a really bad feeling about the wedding video today. L like I said, um, it was a self-assigned deadline today, um, because the person that wants the video is going away on holiday soon, and, you know, they're going away for two weeks and stuff, so if I, if I leave it until they come back, then it's really dragging on then. Um, having said that, they're probably busy packing and stuff, so... I'm kind of toying with the idea. I'm really... I don't know if I'm going to get the wedding video done. Oh, man. I'll uh, 
I'll do my best with it today, don't get me wrong, but if it doesn't become a thing today, then I'm not going to worry too much about it, because I do have to still eat food and have a shower and tidy up this room ready for tomorrow before I go to work. Um, and like I said, I've got to be, you know, really thinking about leaving for work at around six o'clock. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But on a happier note, I'm very pleased with how that video went. I just hope it gets a good reception. It's been a long time. <laughs> Get it? Reception. Uh, old school VHS. <laughs> anyway, it's been a long time since I've done a retro tech video. So hopefully it's good. I'm going to attempt to put my shirt on with one hand. I get very hot making videos, guys, because I really put my all into it. You know, half of my enthusiasm and energy comes from the fact that when I start recording, I kind of get myself into a zone and I'm like, right, you know, I'm making a video. This video could, you know, blow up with popularity. I make every video as if it's going to get a million views, put it like that. Um, or at least I try to in terms of my enthusiasm anyway. Sometimes the content isn't as great as that. But... Quarter past three, so I had a fried breakfast this morning, like I said, so I've been pretty full. But it is a good idea if I have some lunch now, and then if I have something small before I go to work at around half five, I should be cool. So, oh man, struggling with the shirt. So pleased that that Atachi machine works. Um, that's brilliant news, to be perfectly honest. Absolutely brilliant. Ah, guys, the classic favourite, ham and cheese once more. Absolutely wonderful. I'm really enjoying this food my parents have left for me. So it's about 10 past four, guys, um, and I have been working on the DVD cover, which is pretty much done-ish now. Um, my YouTube video is exported from Final Cut, but it is still going through Handbrake, so I need Handbrake in order to convert the additional footage that I need to put in the wedding video project, so I can't continue with the video project. But what I will do while this is still Handbraking is uh, give the cover a go, because, uh, yeah, printing can be a bit of a pain, but let's give it a go. Half past four, and the DVD cover is done and printed, complete with spine. My video is uploading complete with thumbnails, so that gives me half an hour to 45 minutes to convert, edit, burn the project. I'm going to try and get it done, because I do want a shower and some food before I leave for work. Uh, quarter past five is when I'll have to stop uh, trying to do this, so I'm going to get to it and see what I can do. So sometimes I just love the workflow of a triple monitor setup. I'm monitoring my YouTube video upload as well as doing all of the file conversion over here and managing my files, routing them to the correct places, etc. There is my main Final Cut workflow window and there is the footage that I've got um, to work with. And do you know this workflow is absolutely great. This monitor interchanges between this and Photoshop when I need to use Photoshop for the project. Um, and to be perfectly honest guys, this is just absolute luxury. And now that these monitors are all the same size and resolution, it just makes my life so much easier. It's much better quality all round. Um, but yeah, we are talking nearly 20 to 5 and it's going well so far. And doing a batch conversion, once these all these are converted, it should just be a case of slamming them in the timeline and I'll write straight to DVD um, from Final Cut for now, just so that I can get it done really quickly. Five to five, still editing. Um, various problems I've had to deal with with the audio here, so I've been working on the audio for a little bit. Hope I can get this out, to be honest, guys. Um, this is really, really, yeah, I hope I can get it out. Two minutes past five and we are surprisingly sharing to DVD finally. Um, so a little bit of time to spare, not rushing like mad or anything, which is great. Um, so today has been nothing short of extremely productive to tell you the truth, guys. Now I've still got to make a load of copies, obviously, but um, I'll get to find out really soon this week whether this is okay. And if so, I can make copies. Um, all I've got to do now is tidy up my room a little bit because it is one hell of a mess after all the stuff I've done today. Well guys, good news and bad news. It is, hang on a second, 19 minutes past five, so I'm just getting ready to go in the shower. I've got, um, my bad news is, the DVD failed to burn from Final Cut, so I'm exporting and I'm going to use Toast to burn, but it's taking ages to export and it'll take even longer in Toast. Um, to convert and burn, so I don't know if I'm gonna get it done by the time I go to work. I'm dro I'm, my plan is to drop them in on the way to work. Um, so I really, really hope that I am. Um, but anyway, regardless of that, the good news is um, 
I just got an email from Google AdSense saying we've issued a payment today. And I was like, hmm, I think it's been fairly recent since I received my last AdSense payment. Turns out it has, and I was incredibly surprised with the awesome, awesome uh, amount of payment that I had considering the uh, recent circumstances on the channel. Those recent circumstances being that I'm generally getting less watch time at the moment for whatever reason, guys. I'm not too sure if it's because the summer has come and the weather has improved and stuff, but whatever it is, it's annoying and uh, makes my life very difficult. But I don't let it put me down or keep me down or whatever. And um, yeah, it's all gravy, it's all gravy. It's not nice to be sucked into a void of panic in terms of work. Where's my work t-shirt then? I swear I wore that. Oh, here it is. I didn't hang it up. Okay, cool. So I've got my work t-shirt and my work jumper ready to go. Excellent stuff. And, oh, what's this saying now? Okay, good, it's still exporting. Ah, oh, what are we on? It's been exporting for like 10 minutes and it's only on 24%, so you do the maths. Another 30 minutes easy. And that's without burning it on a DVD. So yeah, I'm not gonna let it get me down, like I said. So yeah, pleasantly surprised, su surprised, surprised by that AdSense payment. That is very good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower. 17.47 and we're 31% encoded in toast. So we're about a third of the way through in toast, just under a third, 32% uh, now. So I, I, I can leave at latest five past six. So let's really hope this happens, because that would be great. If so, then my day has gone fantastically. If not, then oh dear. Um, I've selected to burn this DVD in 16 times. I don't normally do that. I normally burn it eight times, as you know, slower speed, more reliability. I won't have time to preview this DVD, so it'll be a rough thing, uh, but hopefully it'll work just fine. And yes, what are we now? 39% so it is moving it is shifting we might be in luck now it's still 1747 and we're at 40% it's actually speeding up but it'll slow down when we get to uh, the actual burning stage 1754 and we are burning it's gone back to 1% it's creeping up 4% 5% um, so that's good we're averaging around seven times right speed it says at the moment 10% 11% I think we're gonna get it 1755, I think we're gonna get it, guys. For some reason, it's burning really, really quickly. I know it'll have to verify, but we should still be fine. 1755, I've got a good feeling about this. Yeah, I think time is on my side today. 1759, and I've got my DVD. I'm not taking you to work, guys. Nothing interesting to show you tonight. I'll continue vlogging tomorrow or possibly later. So, I'm gonna go and uh, hand this to the peeps. I'll catch you guys later. Howdy everyone, it is, let me check, 22.14 and I've just arrived back from work. Um, basically, I'm doing a little update to just say hello and to let you know how work went. Work was good and hello, so that is that really. Um, tomorrow should be a relatively interesting day in my life for me to vlog, so I will continue vlogging tomorrow, but for now, I'm just gonna have some food and I'm gonna call it a night because I am very, very tired, um, but work was great. Jurassic World is continuing to do really, really well. So I will leave you guys for now. These two days probably haven't been the most interesting of vlogging days, but tomorrow will be a bit better and hopefully the next day, so whatever. Um, yeah, have a good one. And you'll see me in literally like a second, so I don't even know why I said that. How's it going, everyone? It is Thursday and the day is very nice. Blue sky. Um, that kind of thing is happening. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so today I've got a quite an interesting plan, to be perfectly honest. Um, today is the day that I am dedicating to testing some lighting equipment. Now, that's what today's video is also going to be about, so I've left myself with quite a tight schedule. I have to be done with the video content filming by 4 o'clock so that I can edit and export and everything will be done by half past five so that I can upload in time. I assume the video is gonna be about 20 minutes long. I will do a lot of vlog footage as well, so the stuff that's not in the lighting video um, will appear in the vlog, and I'll mention that in the lighting video. So essentially what the, what the deal is at the moment is 
uh, my parents are away until tomorrow. So my time for being able to use the living room for this is uh, running out. So today I am dedicating this day to the lighting stuff. So it's been something that I've wanted to do for ages and something that I haven't had the opportunity to do because of space and time. So it will be ideal uh, to do that today. Well guys, 24 minutes past one and I'm making good progress. I'm all set up here in the living room and I've filmed the first half of my little lighting video that I'm doing on the scanners and uh, yeah the Fujifilm battery is just charging now so um, that gives me a little time to have a rest I'm actually pretty knackered because of carrying this stuff up and down the stairs but you guys have seen this in the lighting video but in case you haven't take a look so basically I'm set up here um, in the living room with my desk all set up nicely I've got my iPad out and stuff because I'm trying a couple of different routers with the desk while I'm waiting for my uh, camera battery to charge just because I'm getting troubles with uh, Xeros remote at the moment so yeah I'm uh, giving that a go and the primary focus of this uh, whole thing is to test out these scanners because I'm selling them but as you guys can see they're both working fine, which is great. So I think I'm gonna to swap to using the BT Home Hub with my desk, guys. I know it looks horrendous, but it is the most stable with Xeros, um, and it works the best. It's actually really, really responsive, much more responsive than the other wheels. So if you actually uh, look at the light, where are we here, position? If you look at the light, I can literally control it. Hope you guys can see. Absolutely instantly, you can see the light reflecting in my iPad screen there. Same with absolutely everything, I mean, colour. Just, you should be able to see the colour reflecting in my iPad screen maybe, I don't know. But yeah, everything is just instant with this router. The others have, have some settings and stuff that I need to, cha to change to optimise it. Um, but yeah, this is ideal. Obviously I've covered all of this in my lighting video that you guys have already seen. Well that is that everyone, one lighting video filmed. And um, today, today, this week is definitely a variety week. And I'm, I'm really pleased with this video. So, yeah, this is the vid for me on this card here. I'm going to pop the camera there. I'm going to grab my bottle of water and we're going to go upstairs and edit this video. And I've got a lot of tidying to do today, guys. Got a lot of tidying in the bedroom, a lot of tidying in the kitchen, a lot of tidying in here. Um, and my parents are coming back tomorrow. So once I edit this video, I'll have to I have to start doing a few bits and bobs. I, I maybe wanted to play with a couple more lights, but I don't think I've really got the time. Um, it wouldn't really be wise to do that, I don't think. It would just suck away my time. But it seems like a lot of effort to get the desk out just for this one small thing, but it was something that needed to be done. So, I don't know, as you can probably tell, I'm battling with myself. So as usual, I'll just take it one step at a time and see how I go. Now, in terms of the lights themselves, Martin 812s, um, absolutely love them great great lights um, and I was 85% sure at the start of the video that I was selling them and now I'm 82% sure but I have got to sell them I just can't keep them they're too big just too big and I don't use them regularly enough so anyway it's time to get editing 1547 and we are all edited and 25% exported I was just having a little browse around on the uh, good old YouTubes just to see what was going on. Um, pretty pleased with my time scale and progress today. Um, managing to set that lot up and test the lights and make a whole video and ed edit it in that time is pretty good in my opinion. Only slight drawbacks is the room is a tip, but that's okay. Uh, I can sort that out today. So I'm just packing away, um, got various cables and that, packing away. That BT Home Hub will now become part of my lighting box because it is the best router to use from what I've experienced. Um, got the 812s there ready to sell. Uh, as soon as mum and dad come back they can advise me on couriers because they are the courier kings because that's pretty much what they do. Um, I need my lid which is here. Excellent. And yeah, it's nice to get this packed away now. 
been great to use it, but it'll be great to pack it away and get everything nice and tidy again. While I'm having a bit of a lighting day, guys, you guys may remember this. I put this together in a vlog very recently, actually. Nice little case, lift up rack mount, and I had all the cabling done really nicely, but I've just ripped all that out, and I'm about to take all this stuff out because this is being sold, this is being sold, and this is being sold. This is being replaced with a slightly newer model that's a little bit nicer looking and whatnot. Um, so it's not really a necessary upgrade, but it does have two auxiliary channels, 25 and 26, which will be handy for hazers and stuff like that. And there is also a case that you can get to fit these perfectly, just these, total flush fit with space for the power cable and the DMX cable for about for about 45 to 50 pounds so I'll definitely be doing that this guy is going and uh, it probably won't be replaced because I don't really need it anymore um, this is just a power supply yeah the case takes up a lot of space as you guys can see it'll be nice to uh, get rid of it so everyone a little update it is around 25 to 8 and I have managed to have quite a productive day um, so I'm just going to spend the next half an hour probably just tidying up my room and the landing outside because uh, yeah, I'll basically show you why. So I need to repack all of the lighting stuff back under the bed and now that the scanners have gone, I'll actually have a lot more space but I do have a little bit of work to do with cabling and stuff. Um, as you can see, I've taken both the desks out with that flight case. Uh, that one will definitely be sold and that one will be sold to get replaced soon as well. Um, coming out here, I've actually got to tidy up out here as well because I've got my stuff from downstairs, that's going under the bed. There's all the routers and stuff, a couple of bags, they've been there for ages. That's my bag, that'll be going with me tonight when I go to Jess's house. And then there is a load of random lighting stuff again. Little bit of a lack of cases at the moment for everything because all of this stuff was in other places. Um, but the reason I've got to tidy up the landing definitely is because my brother-in-law is coming to stay tonight. Um, my parents aren't back until tomorrow, but he's coming to stay tonight because he's been working locally, I believe. Um, in terms of the living room, it's back to normal, pretty much 100%. This lot is staying here until it gets sold. I did find a little screwy thing that may be from a light, I'm not 100% sure, so I've put it there. And there's the lamp. Um, there is the other case to be sold. The scanners are in there, obviously. There's the desk. If I can find the energy, I will carry it up tonight, but more than likely, I will wait until tomorrow and get someone to help me carry it up. Um, it's no harm sitting there, or in fact, I'll probably take it off the coffee table, put the stuff that's meant to be on the coffee table back on there, and put that just like somewhere else. Um, and another thing that I've done as well, of course, is I've cleared the kitchen. Um, so I've done everything in here that needed to be done in terms of clearing up and I managed to put a load uh, in the dishwasher as well. So all of the dishes that I used across the week where I was here on my own are in there getting washed. Out of nowhere I managed to get a splurge of energy and inspiration to move this guy upstairs and I think it's safe to say once I've sorted all this gear and stuff and tidied this up I think it's safe to say that I'm going to be absolutely knackered. Six minutes past eight and I'm shattered and sweating like an absolute dog here guys. Holy crap. Okay, I've got all sorts of shite stuck to the bottom of my shoes as well. Okay, so let me show you how it looks. Here is under the bed, and as you can see, stuff is protruding far less. The lack of those scanners really helps, and there's so much more to sell under here as well, which is great. The reason that desk is there, right in plain view, is because I'll be selling it, like I said. And of course, now, look, my door can open properly. I know I've got some stuff crammed back there, but we'll sort that. Um, in the future but yeah no more desk here so nice big open wide doorway which is awesome and this stuff has gone from the landing just need to sort this one last little bit of stuff now a um, bit of mess on the floor but we are winning guys we are totally totally winning not the tidiest of rooms but definitely a good day just sent an Amazon seller a polite little email to say yo man where's my stuff because I ordered Hot Wheels for the Wii U for like three pounds or something crazy like that. The game is meant to be pretty crappy, but I'm a Hot Wheels fan anyway, so stuff it. And I like racing games, I thought it was worth a go. I ordered it weeks and weeks and weeks ago and I wanted to make it part of my collection video, but it hasn't showed up. So I was like, yo dude, where the hell is my Hot Wheels, man? Anyway, um, 
The dishwasher is done, so it's time for me to unload the dishwasher. I've recovered slightly from being absolutely knackered. Um, moving that stuff. What is up everyone? It is Friday and uh, yeah, it's absolutely horrible weather. Check this out. It's June and this is what the weather looks like. Um, yeah, just grey and horrible. So, let me give you a time check. It is 12.30 and I'm just getting ready to start my day. Today is going to be an interesting day. Um, I posted the lighting video, it went up in time, bit, ah oh man, just a bit gutted about the response so far, that's all. I mean, you know, it's still, still a very fresh new video and all, so it's all good, but um, really not the best reception so far. So I'm looking forward to a couple of people that actually requested lighting videos to check out the vid and take a look, you know. Um, yeah, today I've got to go to work later on. Um, I don't normally work Fridays, but I've got to nip in just towards the end really quickly. Other than that, I've got to make today's video. As you guys know, I'm a little bit behind this week. I'm making the day's videos on the day rather than the day before. It just works out like that sometimes. Um, so I've got to make today's video. And I don't know, the world is my oyster, really. I could list those things on eBay, the stuff that I put downstairs. I could do that today. My parents are coming back today. So I think lots of the day is going to be just pretty chilled and random stuff, but we'll see how it goes. I've got no real plan. I'd like to get the room a bit tidier because it's still a little bit messy from when I was uh, organising everything. So, um, yeah, but no stress, no sweat. I don't know what I'm going to do for today's video yet. I have got a couple of um, little ideas, but I believe that this is going to be the last video edited on my Mac Pro. So I might do a little Mac Pro tribute video. Uh, just to close things down, so that would be really cool. All right, guys, so it's evening time. My parents are home, and I've had a pretty productive day, actually, um, making today's video and also beginning to make Monday's video or Tuesday's video, depending on when I put this vlog out. And that is, of course, the Hackintosh uh, on my main setup, which is really, really cool. The Hackintosh is currently powered down at the moment, and I explained why in the video. It got very, very hot. The sun was shining in through the window. Um, I think it may have overheated. It just froze. The fans ramped up a little bit. It froze, and now it's off. So I'm giving it a little bit of time to cool down, and then I'll give it another go. But, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Sorry there hasn't been a lot of vlog updates today, guys. Um, nothing much that exciting has happened, but this is probably the most exciting thing all day. Well, hey everyone, how's it going? It is Sunday, and it is 10 past three. Uh, point number one, I have not had food today at all. But uh, more importantly, I've got my Hackintosh up and running. I've been making videos today. I'm getting the Mac Pro ready for sale because I'm selling it a lot earlier than I thought I would. Um, everything is going really well today, and I've probably just jinxed it now, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. Um, tomorrow's video, so Monday's video, you guys will have already seen these, obviously, is going to be um, putting the Hackintosh onto my setup. Tuesday's video is going to be preparing the Mac Pro for sale. Wednesday's video would probably be this vlog. I'm not too sure about Thursday and Friday, but I do have exciting news. Um, that I will kind of half tell you in a minute. I can't fully tell you because it's a surprise for, not for the channel unfortunately, but a surprise for someone. So if that someone watches the video, then they're gonna know their surprise. And I'm not even gonna mention who it's a surprise for because then that person may or may not guess what's happening. So yeah, I'm, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm just gonna do something on it. So basically, um, I am gonna be filming a few videos this week. Um, but I won't be posting them this week because I've got a surprise for someone that's happening in the week and If I post the videos, they will definitely see what's going on and it, they'll probably twig um, So I'll be filming videos about a product that I'll be receiving through the post and upgrades for that product and then um, I'll be posting those videos next week after the surprise has happened So I'm free to post the videos now if you guys have any kind of inkling as to what I'm on about, which you probably don't, but if you do, please um, refrain from posting your um, guesses in the comments. I know it would be fun, but if the said person reads the comments 
and then you know one of you guesses right or whatever that could get their mind rolling or whatever so I really shouldn't be mentioning it but I am happy and it's going to make excellent content next week and you guys will not be expecting it at all it's a totally out of character move for me um, but just something that I felt was necessary it will also open up doors to um, basically more Mac related content for a lot of different reasons, not necessarily a direct consequence of the thing that's happening. But instead of just speaking in code, I might as well tell you about something that is awesome. Um, the awesome thing is I am preparing the Mac Pro for sale now. I'm just doing a fresh install of Yosemite right now as it goes, um, as you guys have seen. And I will be swapping this system, and we've done a bit of a deal with some cash as well, but I'll be swapping the system for a 20... Actually, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. It's something, it's another Mac, um, and I'll be making a few videos on that Mac and then selling it probably, because as you guys know, I need all the cash I can get, and um, I, I have made a purchase that set me back a little bit, but it's necessary and I'll speak about it next week. Um, but yeah, there'll be a surprise video coming probably Monday, uh, maybe Friday if it gets here. I'm hoping maybe Friday, that would be really cool. Um, because yeah, I think you guys will enjoy that. It's going to be pretty good actually. But yeah, I'm just wandering around the house speaking in code and saying that you guys should be excited for stuff and you don't even know what I'm on about. So I am not going to tease you with that any longer and we will just carry on as we are. Honey roast ham is my favorite ham of all time. So I think I'm going to make myself some ham rolls. I did not have a clue this was in here. As you guys know, my parents came back um, it's Sunday today, so they came back day before yesterday, but they are gone again today. My sister came to visit, so we had a barbecue and stuff last night. It was really nice. My sister and her husband have recently left. Um, I think a couple of hours ago, they started uh, their drive to go home. And today, today, I'm here on my own once more, and my parents will be back tomorrow, sometime tomorrow during the day. And I also don't have work tomorrow morning because... Um, yeah, just because I don't, so basically that means I am pretty free to do quite a lot of cool things today and tomorrow and stuff, so I think, I think I'm going to really enjoy these next couple of days. Things are going well, I've struck a nice deal, um, I'm just generally feeling happy and good about most aspects of what's going on, but one thing I know for sure is I'm very hungry, so I'm going to make myself some food. Well, it's quite a bit of time later, guys, and we're still getting a couple of Hackintosh issues. Oh man, I haven't uh, finished filming the Mac Pro cleaning video, not the cleaning video, the preparation video. I've just got cleaning left to do in the video. So I'm going to do that now. I've actually just um, been sitting here for a couple of hours now online doing a whole lot of nothing really. It is quarter past five. Um, I am going to get some more food soon and get munching and stuff because my motivation is just going down. But it doesn't matter because I've done, I've done quite a bit considering it's a weekend, so I'm happy. Um, and I've got quite a bit of time this week to get things sorted, so that's good. I just wish my wish my Hackintosh would stop freezing. Um, it's a pain in the ass. I just really, really wish it, it would work, you know, 100% all the time. I'll figure it out though, you know, I will figure it out. I'll figure out what is wrong with it. Well guys, it is Monday and I have decided that I'm going to stop vlogging. I have no idea how much footage I've got. I have no idea what the vlog is like. Um, so apologies if it sucked. But if it did suck, there is loads more stuff to look forward to on the way, guys. I do promise. It's going to be uh, it's going to be absolutely great. Um, in terms of my Hackintosh and stuff, it's rocking my main setup. But I still have some issues with random freezes every once in a while, which is a pain. So I've got to figure all that stuff out, but nothing is easy in this world anymore, really. Um, so it's just another thing that I've got to add to the list of things to do, so it's okay. Um, I'm feeling generally happy. It's, it's Monday today, like I said. I will probably start vlogging again this Saturday because I have a rehearsal. Um, so it, I may do a, a normal vlog or I may do a gig log style video. I'm not too sure. I've got a rehearsal with a theatre group, but they're full of kids, so I can't really show much of the rehearsal stuff. Um, could try and show some of the tech stuff, but then there won't be that much te tech stuff happening because um, I'm going to be only the only one in the building, so I probably will have to do like boring like management stuff instead of uh, actually fiddling around with the tech. 
So it's it's kind of hard to know what's going to happen, but it is what it is, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. As always, leave a comment down below if you made it to the end. I'm going to attempt to edit this on the Hackintosh, but it may be a too long video to edit without getting a freeze in the middle, so I will probably mention in the description whether I edited this on the Hackintosh or not, um, so it's worth a look in there in case you're curious. Um, but yeah, again, massive thank you for watching everyone. I was going to carry on the next couple of days, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a, give it a rest now and an import and see what happens just because I don't really want to be left with massive projects overhanging on an unreliable machine, really. Um, that's pretty much why, but yeah, anyway, thanks as always guys, and I will see you in the next video.